I know the topic of disability is not something that we talk about very often. One of the reasons why we are working with misogyny across the country with this organization is because it is affecting so many Muslim families. I won't ask anybody to raise their hands. I've done that already in my program last night. But whenever I go to these programs, I ask people, who knows someone here with a disability or special need of any kind? And 95% of the room raises their hand. These are Muslim gatherings. My dear brothers and sisters, disability can impact all of us. You can be born with a disability, you can become injured and become disabled, you can have an illness that can cause a disability. It is not discriminatory of any kind of age. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. Ameen. We do not want to face this test, but if Allah wills it for us or our family, we may well be tested in our lifetime for disability. That's why it's an important topic for all of us to know and to understand. There are community members everywhere around this country who live with a loved one, a family member with a disability. There are 600,000 Muslims with disabilities in America. One of the things that we are doing as an organization, our organization is named Muhsin, M-U-H-S-E-N, Muslims Understanding and Helping Special Education Needs. Who here has heard of Sheikh Omar Suleiman? Most of us, mashallah. He is a scholar, he is our sheikh, he is also uh, the founder of the organization. So Sheikh Omar Suleiman um, took this initiative and asked that we work with the communities around the country and work with the masajid and start to make our masjids more accommodating and welcoming for people with disabilities. <coughs> and that means more than just a parking space. And that means more than just the physical space and accommodation to come in. It means we need to make room in our hearts for these people. It means we need to understand what are their spiritual needs. If someone has a disability, do we exclude them from knowledge or deen? Or do we give them access just like we do everybody else? So in some cases it might just be a ramp or a doorway or an entrance. In some cases, it might be a sign language interpreter for somebody who's deaf. In some cases, it might be a special kind of class. And Muslim is actually, we've arranged weekend school programs where a lot of the staff who's here today, they teach. They teach people with disabilities about the deen, how to pray, different du'as. I mean, it depends on the goals of the families, but we customize the education for them. Why are they any less Muslim or less deserving? They're not. They are our brothers and sisters. And subhanAllah, if we can't provide it for them, then where do these people go? So alhamdulillah, there is a, there's a need. We acknowledge that there are some masjids who are going to be at the forefront, mashallah. MCC East Bay um, and the tireless efforts. I know there's a team, but I, I really, really need to mention that Brother Munir Safi has been at really, really huge part of this. He is the facilitator at this masjid who we have been working with for months. You may not even know all the efforts and all the emails and all the discussions, mashallah, going back and forth. So some of the things that MCC East Bay has achieved in silver certification, because this certification is made easy for you. It's done in three parts. And we just provide a checklist, which I have up here and we'll have at our table if anybody wants to look. But the silver certification is, first of all, have someone dedicated in your masjid who's going to work on this. Very simple. So Brother Munir was that person. Have somebody take a look at accessibility, like I said, the physical stuff. Can you get in the building? Can you get a wheelchair into the bathroom? Can you get crutches? Can you get a walker? Once that person is in the bathroom, can they make wudu? You know, I've been to so many, I travel almost every week across the country and alhamdulillah I have the opportunity to see a lot of masjids and I've even had people ask me do these people really need to make wudu and what if they want to make wudu we have to make wudu before we pray so let's ease the way for them let's make it easy so we've even looked at that and mashallah you have you know the foot shower the foot sprayers you have stools that are movable in your bathroom these are things we looked at I mean we did it all with emails and pictures but that's the level of detail. So if someone came in who had a mobility disability, which some of the kids just heard about in the workshop, we could move that stool, 
We could wheel the person in, they could wheel themselves, and they could have access to making wudu properly. So the bathroom accessibility, the entrances, the parking, having somebody put the programs out there on the website, letting the community know. So some of you, and I won't embarrass anyone, some of you may have known before today that MCC East Bay was working with Muslim because there was an announcement on the website that was part of what we did together. There was a survey that was put out. So on your website, if you haven't seen it, there's a link that asks families, what do you need? What are the accommodations? Because we want to give you what you need. And out of those survey results, the masjid leaders can serve you better. These are the things that were in the certification, <coughs> along with an awareness event, which there was a table set up, I know, a couple of months ago. The Grail Quran has been on display. We just did an awareness event last night. So the completion of two awareness events have now put you into the gold category, alhamdulillah. Training the youth is part of the certification. And one of the biggest things is, we all know, we say it all the time, the youth are the, the seeds of the future. Let's teach now, because these people are going to become the leaders of the communities. Let's have them understand. We just did a sensitivity training. How to speak to someone with a disability, how to react, how to express. All of these things are important. And mashallah, now with the youth training done, that's also taken care of in terms of the goal certification. So with all that said, um, on behalf of Mohsen, on behalf of Sheikh Omar Suleiman, on behalf of the entire team, we want to commend the work of MCC East Bay. East Bay. We want to say Jazakallah to all of you for your support. Get more involved. Offer your help. Sign up to volunteer. And it's a community effort. There are many more programs up ahead in the other levels of certification, but once you achieve these levels, you'll see people coming into the community that you've never seen before. I myself have started engaging more in my community because I am a mother of a child with a disability. So when these programs go into place, I can now access the masjid and I can now make my whole family feel like we can do this, we can attend this event. And there's so many families like that, you probably know them. Encourage them to come because this is a loving, welcoming place. And with that, I do want to give the award um, to Brother Asif Muhammad from Zarina. Sister Zarina, could you please come up? And on behalf of um, MCC East Bay, we would like to award you you all for the hard work. It is a big honor here because there is no other Muslim in the state of California that has been Muslim certified yes, yet. You are pioneers. This is an innovative new idea for our community, but it is not difficult. Right, Brother Munir? It's not difficult. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Allah puts barakah in this work. This is something that you take a small step and the blessings start pouring. These individuals with disabilities are gems in our community. And you are serving them. And in the words of Sheikh Omar, they will intercede for you on the day of judgment, inshallah. You will make their life easy here. Inshallah, they will testify for you then. This is something very important. We are serving people of Jannah. So congratulations, Jazakallah Khair, and uh, you know we look forward to keep you know our connections and we keep working together to achieve more and more with Ahsan. And please spread the word throughout California because people should follow the lead. At MCC East Bay, mashallah, we are hearing of a couple of masjids thanks to uh, Brother Munir's introductions who are now interested. We can we announce that MCA Santa Clara has just started the certification process with us too. Alhamdulillah, and that's you know enjoying good. It's telling other communities we can do this and it's, you know, helping people all over. So with that, I will uh, end, but uh, Jazakallah khair, please see us at the table if there are any questions. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.